All right, there's been one objection to the fact of saying that out of the Big Bang, we can posit that there's a transcendent creator, a cause that we would say is God, okay? And that line of reasoning goes is that, hey, out of that first second, there could have been many, many universes, multi-universes that were created, any one of which, well, you, you explain the theory. What is the multiverse theory of this? Well, it grows out of the concession that we see overwhelming evidence in the characteristics of the universe that makes life possible in the universe. But those who do not want to go down a theistic or a Christian path would argue that if we have an infinite number of universes, then all those universes have different physical characteristics, then we could possibly conclude that our universe has the just right characteristics for life in human beings by pure chance. Now, when you make that appeal, it is a metaphysical appeal. And that's because Einstein's equations of general relativity tell us that once you've got observers in universe A, the space-time envelope of that universe cannot overlap the space-time envelope of any other possibly existing universe. All right, so what you're saying is, okay, we've got our universe, right. and uh, it's been here, what, 15? Uh, 13? 13.7 billion years, our universe, okay? Right. And out of that, the evolutionists, the scientists would say, there's not enough time for life to originate by chance in 13.7, so we need another spot. We actually have to appeal to different physics to make it work. Okay. If you stick with the physics we have, you've got a universe. The multiverse is an appeal to a so fundamental... So you're stuck. If you have the physics that we have, you're stuck. You have right. to postulate a new physics, new quantum mechanics? Well, it's, they postulate a breakdown or an alternative to the physics we see very early in cosmic history, structured in such a way that you would get, get this multiverse, this infinite number of universes with possibly different physical characteristics. All right, so they're, they're postulating a hypothetical set of universes out there, and because we don't have enough time in our universe to have evolution occur to create life on Earth, they're saying somehow in one of these other universes, what? Well, one of these other universes, like you'd have all different physical characteristics, and, but if you've got an infinite number of universes, there's going to be some of those universes with the just right physical characteristics. And if that sum is large enough, maybe you can explain these extreme mathematical improbabilities without invoking a personal divine being to structure this life. That's the basic appeal. Okay, and what's the problem with all this? Well, the first problem is it is a metaphysical appeal. It's not something that flows out of the physics of the universe we see. You're, You're talking to scientists saying it's not scientific. It, you're appealing to something beyond the physics to make this work. Uh, the more fundamental problem is it's a form of the gambler's fallacy. And a good way to illustrate that would be to flip a coin. I got a quarter here and I flip it. What if I were to flip it 100,000 times and it came up heads all 100,000 times? You'd probably conclude that the coin has been purposed to always come up heads. But someone committing the gambler's fallacy would speculate that maybe there's an infinite number of quarters. And if you've got enough people flipping them 100,000 consecutive times each, one by pure chance would come up with heads 100,000 consecutive times. Therefore, the coin is fair. Now, that's basically what the multiverse people are doing. They're speculating along those lines. And my challenge to them would be, well, before you bet on the 100,000 first flip of the quarter, wouldn't it be a good idea to pick up the quarter and examine both sides? If you see heads on both sides, then don't bet on tails. Uh, keep your money. Now, people say, can we really do that with the universe? I argue that we can. We can examine the universe in greater detail. We're doing that every day. And if in examining it in greater detail, we see that the evidence for design gets stronger rather than weaker, then that tells us that someone has purpose that the universe take on those characteristics.